Good morning. Saturday in Manchester. I see a lot of football fans. There's police everywhere. And uh, it's a Saturday. Not done a Saturday in Manchester for a while. Um, might as well break the habit. So I present to you the intro of another deranged, insane, atavistic, psycho Manchester Saturday video. In this shot, there are seven police. There's two in the foreground and five just right of center down in the middle of Cracky Gardens. Very quick story, I was uh, browsing social media and I saw a story of Bradley, American kid, he was 19. And uh, Bradley was fat, like obese, big boy. And uh, he was sharing his struggles with dating and they said uh, what finally broke the camel's back that made him have a light bulb moment in his head was a girl saying, Bradley, I, I like you as a friend because you're too fat for me. I don't find you attractive. And uh, this uh, spurned him to go on a two-year gym and exercise bender. And uh, the end results, I have to say, Bradley looks good. Bradley looks healthy. Bradley looks strong. Bradley now looks like a man instead of a chubby they them. So the moral of the story is truth is love. Love is truth. And we will not help young people if we keep deluding them that their very strange lifestyle choices, which makes them not attractive to the breeding program that is reality, might not be the best thing for them. Maybe the truth. Okay, let's go. Random people crossing the Corporation Street tram line. So guys, viewers, I'm walking along and I see the American flag, which just reminds me of freedom, dominance, and manliness. And of course, O'Donnell is selling moonshine in a jar, just like our Appalachian freedom-loving federal government hating f great men from the past. So 50% volume, 100 proof moonshine, that sounds about right. And the, the amazing gentleman, he's an Amish man with a big beard. He, he doesn't want to be on camera, but he's very humble. But thank you, Mr. O'Donnell. Belgian Malinois. Belgian Malinois with a German shepherd. Yeah. And how old is the doggy? Six months. Six months. Boy or girl? Girl. Oh, can I pet, pet her? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello! You're such a lovely doggy. Oh, do I get a little chew as well? Oh, thank you. The famous Sparta kick spot is right there. Well, it only took many, many years, but the uh, establishment here has figured out that police presence equals no aggressive crackheads. Funny how that works. Okay, dear viewers, we're back at the Midland Hotel for the start of the Tory party conference, which begins tomorrow. Now, why, why waste a Saturday? Even though there's no politicians in the building, the, the left-wing protesters, I can see them straight ahead, are megaphoning, speaking, and uh, maybe impotently screeching into the void. But uh, what I do find interesting is the substantial police presence which is always it's cinematic. Tories, Tories out protest. Tories out protest, look at that. Well, actually, oh, yeah. that's an event. Yeah. How are you? You okay? Yeah. So, um, hello, hello, hello. Here's my favorite, guys. This is my job. Evidence gather, photon gatherer, look. Hello, good to see you. Sorry, how's things? Not bad, thank you. Hey, yeah. Happy here, aren't we? Well, it's, it's always a joyous occasion here at the... Nice to see you. Right. Nice to see you too, thank you. So here's the... Canon XA40. So we're basically, in Britain, we have a history of uh, hyper-aggressive left-wing demonstrators, so we make sure that they are well surveilled. Hey guys, All right. hello again. Yeah. What's that? The cop. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's some swear words. I gotta go get the swear words. Yeah. Thank you for your support today. Such gratitude for you joining us today. The last time this government spoke to Asleth was in December last year.
is all their conference in a disused railway station. You simply couldn't make this shit. Guys, I found the uh, old abandoned van that they're going to let the left-wing protesters smash up this weekend. You can see it's all empty. It's got the nice uh, artistic handprints on it. But uh, I've, uh, I've been around the, the block and the bush a few times. I know how these things work. It's a 13, 14-year-old van. Nice and rusty, nice and crappy. They're going to leave it in a prominent location. And then tomorrow when all the centrist and right-wing press van in flames broken britain and who will get demonized the left-wing protesters and uh my advice for anyone coming across an abandoned van with a molotov cocktail sat next to it with open windows is don't don't give in to temptation look up to god put your hubris away <laughs> they've brought wally where is he or is he called waldo these days i forget i just said i just said jenny so uh, it's like I feel like a senator in ancient Rome. You got the hello again. Hey guys. Manchester United Stadium. This here is the football hotel, and you can see the Old Trafford Stadium, that red thing, center screen now. And uh, if Manchester wasn't busy enough with all the. Tory party conference stuff. You've got all the worldwide international Man U fans coming to pay homage to the best <coughs> football <coughs> team <coughs> in the world. Okay, rainy Lancaster. I just want to show you guys. We're in Lancaster. I just want to show you guys the funny colored police car that's going to come up here. Wait, I want to show you. I'll wait till it comes past. Lancaster police guys. I tried to get into the cottaging museum here, but alas no cottaging for us today Private ambulance who's this one for it's for RMS Medical team, but I'll tell you what's sorry. I'll tell you what's exciting on this side. It says along the bottom Mediulance 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 is my favorite medical word Mediulance so check, oh shit, he's fallen over. Oh god, he doesn't look well. Is he okay? So Tower Castle Ultra 30 today. Is, a fin is this the finishing line here? Yeah. yeah. Come on, is he going to make it across? He's got some help. He's doing well. There you go, finishing line in the castle. He's doing well. There you go. So uh, yeah, here's Lancaster Castle. We got an amazing racing event. And look, Her Majesty's Prison. Although, being Lancaster, it's a better class of crackhead than the prison here. So. No smoking, no guide dogs. Look at this boy, John of Gaunt. Go on, John. John of Beach. Hello, sir. Hello there. How are you? Big fan. Thank you very much. Thanks for, I thought I'd try a different day out just for a change. Why not? Nice one, mate. All the best. Sit. The Castle Guards are fans of the Charlie Beach show. Good on them. Great taste. All right, here's the official finishing line. Anyway, look at that. If you like sandstone, you'll like Lancaster Castle. Wait, they're, uh... Here they come. Here they come. Wait, we're going to get the money shot. Here, look, look, and they're in. Well done. Let's get one more. One more runner. I'm gonna pass him a cup of water or something. Maybe maybe a something to wipe his brow. Although it's at the end of the race here, it might be a bit net a bit pointless. Well there you go, that's the event. Got an ambulance crew here just in case. Enjoy the castle for a moment. It's very nice. And yes, it was a modern prison up until not too long ago. Okay, guys, we got one. We got we got a live one. He's limping. He's 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 finishing. 
Go on, give him a clap, people. Give him a clap. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. You can do it. You can do it. Go on, John. One last one, here we go, one last one. Go on, Sean, you're doing well, go on. One last sprint, go on. Okay, one last, one last time, Medi Ulunz. So, uh, we've come down to this little cove. Not the cottagers. Not the cottagers one, we're at Merchant's Cove, 1688, that is old. Bye bye, Lancaster, short and sweet. Enjoyed your castle, enjoyed your runners.